well in case uh, you can't guess where am i where i am uh, uh, okay first try to guess and if you can't then i'm going to tell you the name of the place it's called vasteras vasteras is a small hamlet of sweden and uh, a few minutes back i came by bicycle and uh, this is my bicycle mm. and now i'm going to ride further to explore the place um. well let's start then and i am going through this forest this is a uh, uh, forest which is almost it reminds me of some himalayan forests uh, i have visited before okay this is the path in front and that is behind me is this really leading to that stream uh, which that uh, good person had mentioned let's see no <coughs> i couldn't find out that stream uh maybe uh, that person told me about of oh, oh, as I, i was almost falling down uh, <coughs> he told me about some other uh, road uh, which i missed anyway uh, now i am going to show you the before i get back this forest land i'm going to show you uh, <clears throat> uh it has a similarity with kashmir with its valleys uh, so i'm getting back again now the forest is behind me i came by that path and putting my cycle like this making it making it stand by the road i'm going to show this cycle path which is which is uh, only for the bicyclers and the walkers uh, and uh, this is another person who is bicycling and that is the road which is the main road by which the cars go bicycles are allowed there but one has to be very careful while bicycling uh those the cars uh, they t- take a good care of uh, the bicyclists and the walkers they stop sometimes uh to uh, so that uh, no accident takes place so anyway so i'm going to get on my bike once again so th- by this road i'm getting back t- from where i have come and i'm n- right now i'm standing beside this tree uh and this is the wow the cycle was almost falling down uh this uh, this is the road which is uh, typically for the bicyclists like me no car will come by that road uh this is uh, this is a what should i say very nice thing about i mean they take so much care about the people who like to uh ha bike or hike uh like that person who is walking no car will come so any child can almost run without uh having any guardian with them another bicyclist i am going to follow that person uh okay and uh, um have i to uh, do i have to mention that uh, no speed and no dirt <laughs> that is taken for granted of course I couldn't suppress my desire to uh take the view of this uh, uh of this Swedish colony a typical Swedish colony um I am actually new I am from Kolkata India uh i have uh, got down uh 
to just to take the view of this typical Swedish colony. Uh, now the sun has come out and so it's a bit sunny now. Um, this person uh, sometimes back actually while I was taking the view of this Swedish colony a person asked me what I was doing and I explained what I was doing actually just enjoying and keeping it, uh, it this uh, as souvenir and for others as well so I am going to start once again so this is the typical Swedish colony I am showing you and I'm watching as well. Full of beautiful trees on the lawn and so clean. That is what I said before, that is, it should be taken for granted. We Indians, we get surprised to see what surprises us, that is the cleanliness because we are not habituated to see this thing in our country. Okay. What's the name of this tree? I don't know. But it's really beautiful. And this is another beautiful tree. I'm not asking anyone the name of it because the pronunciation in Swedish will be such that I won't be able to understand as well as remember. So, uh, and uh, this typical fencing uh, made of wood and cement uh, or uh, bricks, yes. This is also a very typical thing which we don't see in India. Right behind the place where I'm staying uh, at my in-laws house uh, that's a flat actually, a huge flat uh, there's a forest, this forest a pristine forest with roads made for the bicyclists and walkers and there's this bridge as if uh, it's a Harry Potter's magic world. In fact, uh, what I find interesting about Vasteras, uh, you don't have to go to any forest. Uh, on the other hand, actually Vasteras uh, inhabitants, uh, they have uh, built their houses and uh, quarters, etc. Uh, in the forest uh, just by clearing out and felling some trees and cutting some trees and then then building their houses and abodes inside this forest <coughs> again uh, a little rest for my bicycle and for myself uh, what I enjoy about fast terrace is that um, you don't have to go to any forest to visit a forest. It's, it's actually inside the forest. The inhabitants who reside here, they have built their houses and abodes inside this forest. Um, just by felling and cutting sentries. Uh, and this road, as I have mentioned, and this place actually, there's no no car is allowed. You see, there's a symbol of bicycle here. No car is allowed. Only the walkers and the bicyclists will uh, travel, will go by this, uh, will use this road. Um, and this is, this bridge is very fascinating as if it's, it has come directly down from the Harry Potter's world. It has, it has started to uh, mizzle a little bit, if not drizzle. Um, uh, so I have to get back. A few minutes back, I found one bicyclist uh, cycling very hard, very fast. And uh, now I understand why he was, he was doing that, because he is a local resident and he understood. He could sense 
that it was going to uh, brizzle. Uh, I must not say it's raining, but anyway, uh, and just because I'm a newcomer, uh, I'm quite new in this forest. <laughs> so right now I'm standing uh, using this Harry Potter's bridge as, as a shelter. Okay, let me have, the, let me take the glimpse of it once again. Uh, the the view of the bridge. It's very nice. So I'm standing here for a for for a few minutes, for a few minutes, and then I will start once again.